Hi friends, in today's lecture, we would study about the post snap and O track feature of AutoCAD 2024. So, before we start the training, I would request you to open the file furniture.dwg, which is provided to you in the description of this video. After opening that file, ensure that you click on the Home tab and in the Home tab, ensure that you select Sam's Furniture and also ensure that it is the current layer. In order to ensure whether the layer is current layer, you can click on Layer Properties and you should see a check mark next to Sam's Furniture. If you do not see a check mark, just double click on Sans Furniture and that will make it as the current layer. And it should show you on the top that the current layer is Sans Furniture. Also note that the color for this layer is fluorescent green. So any objects which you draw in this layer would be shown in fluorescent green color. Now I will close this. After that, you have to ensure that in your status bar, you have the following features on. First, you ensure that the object snap tracking is on. So you can see when it is off, it would be shown in gray color. When it is on, it would be shown in blue color. So object snap tracking should be on. Second thing which you have to ensure is the object snapping should be on. And next to the object snapping, there is a flyout. In that flyout, ensure that end point, midpoint, center, and intersection, these options should be turned on. After that, one more time, click on the flyout to close the flyout. Now we'll begin with drawing a table in this particular drawing. So this is our drawing room and here we want to draw one dining table. The dimensions for that dining table would be 2 feet by 4 feet and that we want to place it adjacent to this wall. So for this I'll click on the home tab and in the full tab, in the draw panel, over here, you have the rectangle command. So I'll click on the rectangle command. And then it asks me to specify the first corner for the rectangle. Then it asks me what would be the width. So I give the width as 2 feet. And then I press tab. And what is the length? I give 4 feet and hit enter. So I get this rectangle. Remember it is in the furniture's layer, Sam's furniture layer, hence it is shown in green color. Let me zoom it a point closer. Now what I want to do is, I want to draw one line right from this corner to this corner. So for this, again I'll ensure that I'm in the Home tab and in the Home tab I'll select Line. Now, as I move the cursor close to the end of this rectangle, you will see the cursor automatically snaps to the end of the rectangle. And this is because my object snack endpoint is turned on. So, I click over here and then I bring my mouse again to this point and you can see the cursor automatically snaps to the end of that point. This is because my object snapping is turned on. So I will click over here and I get one line which extends from the end of this point to the end of this point. Now. I want to draw one circle right whose center point would be right at the center of this particular line. So I will go again in the home tab. I will select circle 
and I will select center radius. Now you will notice that as I bring my cursor in the towards the center, you will see this triangle which indicates that this is the midpoint of the line. So I click over there and now it is asking me the radius. So I will type 0 0.75 feet and hit enter. And now I get one circle. Now let me erase this line as well as this circle. Let me show you another way of drawing the circle. So again I click on the home tab. Again I click on circle. And again I select center radius. Now I want the center of this rectangle. However this time I do not have a line. So what I do. I will bring my cursor to the middle. Somewhere near the middle of this line. And you will see one midpoint snap comes. I will just drag it down somewhere like this. And same way I will come here and I get the midpoint. And now I will drag it to the left. So the moment it comes to an intersection you will get a X. Which is the exact midpoint of this rectangle. We are able to get this midpoint only because the object snap tracking feature of AutoCAD is turned on. Now I can click over here and then I can give the radius as 0 0.75 feet and hit enter and I get the circle. So friends, in this video we have studied object snapping and object snap tracking in AutoCAD. Hope you have learned something new. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we see you again in the next video. Till that time, goodbye.